36-year-old Sergio Sales was charged with first-degree murder, among several other charges, including stalking and tampering with evidence. Yesterday evening, he was taken into custody after an investigation unveiled that he was involved in the stabbing of a 22-year-old woman just before 5.30 p.m. According to a probable cause statement, the stabbing that occurred on 301 West Ashley Street, where Sales and the victim, identified as 22-year-old Jasmine King, were reportedly in a relationship and have a toddler together. King's family visited her home and called 911 after finding her body covered in blood and immediately identified Sales as a person of interest. Her family also reported that there was tension over the ability to see their child. King was found in her bedroom covered in blood with stab wounds to her head, face, neck, torso, and back, according to the statement. Investigators located Sales at McClung Park in Jefferson City, where he said he was homeless and living in his car. Investigators later found a shirt, shorts, and a knife from a park trash bin soaked in blood. A detective noted that sales statements about his time frame for the day were inconsistent. In the past two years, sales has also been charged with fourth degree domestic assault, first degree harassment, and first degree stalking, all involving the same female victim. According to a probable cause statement, he was also arrested for aggravated battery in Illinois. Sergio sells the Jefferson and city man accused of stabbing the mother of his child, Jasmine King, to death in April, had a motion hearing today requesting a new judge and a change of venue. According to court documents, Sales is requesting a change of venue to ensure diversity among the jury selection during his trial. The prosecutor's attorney filed a motion to deny the defendant's request for a change of venue. Today, Judge Daniel Green sustained the request for a new judge. Sales' case will go to circuit judge John Beatum to reassign a new judge. However, Sell's attorney said he does not have a time frame for when a new judge will be assigned. 